Okay, Year 9, this is a very quick tutorial about how to draw your breadboard in Fusion. So once you have Fusion open, you need to come up to the Create Sketch icon, click that. Click a plane you want to draw from, so side, back or top. So we're going to click that one. We select our tool. So there's quick tool options across here. So we are doing a rectangle. It is a two-point rectangle, which means we're drawing from one corner to the diagonal corner. Okay. Click to start. You just move your mouse. It's not click and hold. And the dimension that's highlighted in blue is the one you type in first. So that for us is going to be 280. Click tab on your keyboard to get to the next dimension. You can see that's blue now. And that's going to be a maximum of 500 mil. Okay. Um, just so you can see the whole thing, down here you've got some zoom options, so there's zoom and there's zoom to fit. There he is. And we're just going to click finish sketch. Now that is just a 2D shape, we need to make it 3D. And anytime you make anything 3D, you click E on your keyboard for extrude. Okay, and it'll pop up. And if you get this widget here and click, drag and spin, you can spin your drawing around. You'll see this blue arrow, you drag that up in the direction you want. Doesn't matter how far because then you can manually type in here the dimensions you want, which is 38, which would be two bits of pine laminated together face to face. Enter. Okay. Now, as far as the shape goes from now, it is up to you. Um, you can do things like just put in a chamfer on the top, which looks like this. So modify chamfer, click on an edge, drag that arrow in to the depth you want, which will be about 10 mil. Enter. Uh, you can put, you can use a chamfer to actually cut away a corner of the board. So you can go modify, chamfer this edge grab the arrow drag it in as far as you want probably about 30 looks good you could do a fillet which puts a curved edge on so modify fillet i'm just going to move that out of the way for now i'm going to grab this edge and you can see how that puts a curve there okay so you can do however you want like that you might want to hang this board up at home somewhere so you might want to go to create and for a hole, it starts as a 2D shape of a uh, circle. Now, we're going to come back to sketch here. And this time, instead of clicking which plane here, we're going to click the surface we want to draw on. Okay. So I'm just going to zoom out. I'm going to pick the circle tool. And I might want to circle about there. Now, this will be the diameter of the spade bits we have. So about a 32 mil bit. Enter. There he is. Again, it's a 2D shape. So spin your drawing, you can zoom in here, click that, click E, if you want to make it like that, or go down, makes it a hole, and you can just drag it the whole way through and click enter, and you have a hole there. You do not have to have one, okay? Cool. So I'm just going to design a board that I like now, super quick. So I'm just going to click undo, back to there, and I like the look of doing this. I'm going to go click on that edge, I'm going to hold shift and click that one, click and hit that one, modify, uh, I'm going to go a chamfer, which will bring that in and cut that edge off like that, 30 mil I like the look of, enter, and I'm just going to spin my drawing around and get that one as well, modify, chamfer, that one, drag it in, 30 mil, enter, and I'm going to put the shape for on top. Click. Now I'm going to multi-select by clicking shift and carefully click on each edge. Much quicker than doing modify chamfer for each one. Zoom in and get that one. Modify chamfer. Out. I'm going to find that arrow. And I go in 10 mil. Type it in, 10, enter, and I've just got to spin around and get that last one that I missed. Modify, chamfer, 10 mil, enter. Okay, almost done. I can click view my views and see what I've got. So from the top, front, side, isometric that corner there and now I actually want to make this look like timber so I'm changing its appearance appearance starts with a so click a okay now in your library um, mine's already open but yours will probably look like this so you just scroll down to wood 
and within there you probably have one pine and you just click and drag it in. Okay, so click, drag, let go. There you go, it looks like a bit of timber. Alrighty. That's practically it. Uh, the next thing we're going to be doing to this is applying a logo, uh, but we're going to do that in Lightburn. So for now, we need to save it. So if ever your drawing says untitled or it has an asterisk, you haven't saved it. So just hit the disk, give it a name. Breadboard, I'm just putting a two of mine because I've already got another one. Hit save. It'll change here. And where it is, is in your data panel here. Okay, so all your drawings will be here. And I'll scroll down now. Alphabetical, there we go. There's my breadboard too that I just did. Okay.